we welcome everybody. Hello, thank you for being here, and we welcome you to the newest Sonic of Connecticut in Manchester. We are here. <laughs> Our family couldn't be happier to be in such a great town. Everyone has been so kind and helpful to our family, as well as accepting of the Sonic family franchise as well. We have all felt welcomed from everyone from the first day. Our family, uh, Robert, Ralph, my mother included, Rosalie, could be happier in such a great town. Everyone has been so kind and helpful to our family. Um, our family has a lot of people to thank. It will be hard to list everyone, but just know that everyone involved in this project was very instrumental in getting this off to the ground. From the contractors, to the town officials, to the attorneys, and the developers and engineers, and the maintenance crew. No matter how small or how large your role, remember, you got us here today. Our family is so grateful for all your time, effort, energy that you have put into this project and the amount of time you have dedicated towards this project in such a short amount of time. Your due diligence is second to none. I have to say, the determination and work efforts of our two main contractors on the job, our general contractor, Jeff Beckers from Summit Ridge and Randy from Yankee Heritage, was key to getting signed to, to our fans at a supersonic speed. Their pride in their work, I feel, has a lot to do with it. And a lot of you know my brother Robert already, who has been a vital part in getting the Sonic of Manchester to opening day for our family. When we chose him to be our operating partner for our family business, we knew that he would see to it that the job would get done. With Robert at the helm, he too is determined. He will not quit and will not take no for an answer. Well, let's put it this way. He doesn't like to hear the word no, but it can't be done. <laughs> let's say it becomes more of a challenge for him, and he's determined to find a way. Working by Robert's side on a daily basis is our director of operations for both of our stores, Brad Bailey. Our family has, has been really blessed to have him as our opera man. His work ethic and his integrity that he demonstrates to our managers, employees, and staff are the reason our stores are running so efficiently. Our continuous compliments to our Wallingford store on our, and our Sonic crew, management team, and staff really tells a lot about the person at the helm, and that man is Brad. Brad and Robert really do make a great team together. Thank you, Brad. Without media, close local store marketing, website exposure, and of course, social media in today's world, it would be very difficult to expose the Sonic, Sonic driving brand to our customers and potential customers to show them what we have to offer. Our web design, social media marketing company, Impact Branding and Design are represented today by Tom and uh, Bob. No, that's Tom and Bob. Yeah, <laughs> Bob Ruffalo, Tom, this is you has taken our Sonic of Connecticut brand to the next level, and they have been responsible for continuing to get our name out there. They started first with a phenomenal recreation of our website and, and, and integrated new ideas to help us reach the Sonic brand out even further. They have even created a commercial for us that aired on one of our major television networks. It was great. With over 31,000 Facebook fans alone, 1,300 of them were in the last two weeks of all. We can't stress enough the importance of great website, great local store marketing, and of course, a great Facebook page, which leads to endless possibilities. Choosing this franchise was a no-brainer to our family. With an over 50-year tradition in the restaurant industry, and with customer service being a top priority to our family, we saw right away that the Sonic brand had the same values as our family did. And that stems from our mom and dad who instilled that in us. The Sonic brand, as we do, take pride in their customers and are courteous in nature and have lots of integrity towards their customers and will even putting out a quality product. From the founder of the Sonic Drive-In at the corp to the corporate level, down to all the franchisees, they do all have the same beliefs. Customers are number one. 
You may wonder why the sonic driving chain gives out the red and white striped fence. I was at a convention one year and found out why. The founder and owner of the company of the sonic chain had a motto. His motto was, every customer is worth a mint. And he wanted to hand out a mint at the end of their experience to let them know that they were worth a mint and when they dined at Sonic. Our family truly believes that too. And oh, one more piece of information before I hand the mic over to Robert. <laughs> yes, we will be here in the winter and our car hops do skate. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Yay! I promise I'll be here. <laughs> Well, this is a two-year uh, run for us to get uh, Sonic of Wallingford here in Manchester. Um, I'm proud to say that Sonic uh, of, Walling, uh, of Wallingford uh, is en route to be uh, the number one store in the country um, for, for, for volume. Uh, we're excited about that, to let that happen here in Connecticut. Um, we have a lot of people to thank, um, and you know, we're going to be doing that on our website and Facebook. We had a great turnout yesterday for our local, local Facebook fans. We actually got a thousand people joined just yesterday. I can see the line starting right now. Uh, we're going to have that great thing, but hey, look, it, it, again, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, work without people like uh, Jeff Beckers from Summer Range, our general contractor, which I just saw him putting the paint can thing together because you can't stop. Uh, Brad Bailey uh, is the reason for our success as far as uh, being one of the most uh, successful Sonics in Connecticut and then hopefully we'll bring that here in Manchester. Manchester itself is a great town. It was a no-brainer to get Manchester to, to get Sonic here in Manchester. Uh, the difficult part was getting it here the correct way and making sure, because if you look around Manchester, this place thrives in government. Everybody was so helpful to our officials. Uh, Sewer Con, our president from the, the chamber, uh, when I came here, everything everything just clicked and it felt so much like home. And I'm like, I'm very confident. I know for the next couple months, it's going to be a little bit difficult here with the traffic. We have done everything we can to make sure it doesn't. And I hope, uh, other sort of giving everybody my cell phone, I'll be able to do everything I can, so uh, we'll make sure. But, so again, thank you very much for coming. And I also want to say, uh, Dan, uh, our, our manager for uh, Sonic uh, here in Manchester will be uh, uh, Dan Collins. He will work directly under myself and Brad Bailey. And as we go along, we will assign our general managers to our stores. We have a very good management program. And, uh, and, and also very much thanks. We had have, we have over 3,000 applicants applying for this job uh, and hundreds and hundreds of people at our job here. And uh, we, we, uh, we love to hire them all, but we couldn't. We hired over 100 people. So um, we also thank the media and everybody behind me for coming in. Uh, now, right now, I'd like to turn it over to the mayor and see if you have a couple words to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's besides your only Yeah. <laughs> I'm holding the ribbon for a second. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. It's an honor to be here at the grand opening of Sonic. We are so pleased to have the second Sonic in the state of Connecticut. We're so honored that you chose Manchester. And we're so glad that we were able to work with you to get this done in such a short period of time. I tell you, uh, there may be traffic here the next couple of months, but we're proud to have it because people are coming from inside, outside the community in here to shop in Manchester, to eat here in Manchester, and uh, we thank Sonic for choosing this town. We're very grateful for that. Uh, I had the uh, opportunity to uh, go here for the, I had never been to Sonic, but uh, I had the opportunity to eat here this past Sunday at the uh, friends and family event. And all I can say is my two-year-old daughter, she ate her whole hot dog, and she ate half of mine. So that's how good Sonic is. And it's an honor to have you here in Manchester. Thank you, and Thank all you. the best. Many years of success here. Great. Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. So welcome, welcome to the chamber, the community. We're thrilled to have you here, and I will be here frequently. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, I, I just want to say, on behalf of the legislative delegation, they've been in session almost all night, so perhaps not here, but they would love to be here. We've had many, quote, chains come to Manchester. 
but none with a family atmosphere that Sonic brings. And that's different. That, that's exciting for us. It's also good to hear, and I hear it a lot. Manchester is a good place to do business, uh, to, to work with, to cooperate with, from a planning department on down, and it makes a big difference as people come here. For the people west of the river, the passports are not required. Come <laughs> <laughs> to Manchester and enjoy Sonic. Thank you.